Uh, by the way, are you going for Jen's party? No, no. You know she's not really my friend. Well, if you don't go, I won't go. Oh, come on, Peter. I don't want to stop you from going. No, I mean, what am I doing there if you're not there? It's not like I wouldn't be happy if you don't go, but I don't want it to look like I'm the one stopping you from attending her party. Oh, where you are is where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I won't go if you're not going. I'll see you Take tomorrow, care, right? okay? Bye. for me. Uh, I feel like a king. But you are, dear. With a second class opera in international business, London School of Economics, and a master's degree, you, my darling, are more than a king's oh, son. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Hey. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> We are all proud of your achievements. At least I can go to sleep knowing that I have a Complete heir to my business empire. That you can, man. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Desmond looking all grown up. Can you believe he's sporting a beard now? You stop writing, you bad boy. You. Yes, cause for celebration. Yes, cause for celebration. Yes, indeed. Hail to His Majesty. Yeah. I made it specially for you. In fact, you have outdone yourself this time. Oh, Eric. It is so great to be back home. <laughs> oh, come on, Eric. Nothing is too much for you, my darling. Besides, there's no place like home. Nothing compares to it. <laughs> there's someone you haven't asked about. She and her mother. The Bensons are coming here tomorrow? Yes. yes. That would be great. 
Eric! You are very excited, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> about Peter now. Don't tell me Eric is still interested in the relationship. But, you know, since he left the country for his studies, we never really kept in touch and, and now he has come back, he has called me, his family has invited my family to dinner and you know what that kind of dinner means. It's a form of introduction. in the hands of our parents and you know Eric doesn't like to disobey his father in fact I think the father had his life all written out for him from the day he was born I'm so confused Sandra hmm. you know what there's no need for you to be anxious okay Eric has not proposed, neither has Peter. So, there's no need to jump in the crowd. It's easy for you to say you're not in my shoes. Oh, God. It's not going to do that. Okay? Just take it easy. It's always a little bit.
how was the UK? We had spots of peace and that. We have no blacks that meet there forever, but stuff still happens, you know. But not that we couldn't handle. <laughs> It's so great to be back home. <sighs> Linda, I have to be off my bed. So, so, um, so, so, so. Sam, how was your night? It was great, thank you. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you and Linda are getting along fine. We're coping. We're coping. Everybody's eager to know when the wedding is holding. You know, before he died, Chief Benson and I agreed that you and Linda should get married as soon as you get back from Britain. Monday. Mrs. Benson has called me more than once to find out what date is being fixed. Come on, Dad. It is not that simple. Uh, Dad, four years is a long time to have spent apart. Look, I need some more time. I need to get to know her better. That shouldn't take too long. You and Linda are no strangers to each other. You've been together since childhood. Oh, that was then, Dad. We're both grown up now. We need to examine the situation well to find out if this is exactly what we want. Hmm. Well, all I can say is don't keep us waiting for too long. I'll try not to do that, Dad. Just call her and propose. It is that simple. Now look here, son. If you don't do it soon enough, I might just step in and do so myself on your behalf. for comparison, not at all. Sandra, Peter is equally educated and intelligent. He's even more determined than Eric. What has he done for you? Nothing. But Eric has got it all. He's got money, wealth, and family connection. I don't need that. I don't need that from a man, okay? My family has already offered me wealth and connection and a bright future. I don't need that from a man. I need somebody who will love me for me. Yeah, you need love and marriage. But marriage is more important. Look, my dear. Your future with Peter is bleak. He has nothing to offer you. But Eric can give you luxury and all the comforts you're used to. My dear, he can even give you much more. But can't you see it? Our parents are too involved in a relationship. And I don't like it. I hate intrusion. If I marry Eric tomorrow, our parents are going to control the marriage. <laughs> that is it. That is their contribution. They have successful marriages. They know the secrets. That's the only thing they can impact. You know, sometimes I get this feeling that Eric is doing this to please his father. 
You know, and most times when we're talking, I can hear his father talk through him. It's so unreal. Linda, listen to me. You need a man. Eric is ready to marry you. Can't you see it? Peter is the other struggling with poverty. He's not there. Eric is ready to take you to the altar. Fine, agreed. I know you love Peter more than Eric. But you can't get everything you want in a man from one man. Time runs out. It waits for no one. Follow your heart. My dear, use your senses. It's so clear. God, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. This is not the time to be confused. Hmm? about Eric? Yeah, of course, Eric. I mean, who else would I think of? Well, I keep wondering, you know, if, if he truly loves me. Don't worry about it. I know he loves you very much. Both of you are meant for each other. You are meant for each other. And I think you should go back to bed. You know, get up. Stop thinking too much. Go back to bed. So you should get up and go back to bed. Okay, baby girl. Get up and go back to bed. Get up. Let's go. small house, make myself comfortable, take care of my siblings, you know, my brother, my sister. Everybody will be cool. I'm not asking for too much. But 500 mil? Wow, oh, that's like the whole world, you know? Peter. Yeah. I want to talk to you about something. Yeah? We've been going out for the past two years, and yet our destination has not been defined. What kind of destination are you talking about? Where is this relationship heading to? Sure, we're headed in the right direction. Don't play smart with me, Peter. My parents are putting pressure on me. Come on, your parents are doing what they're supposed to do. Okay? I'm going to ask you again. Where is this relationship heading to? Now you know better than to ask me this kind of question, okay? When we're dating, we've been dating. I've said I want to marry you. When? Linda, you know, you know my story, okay? You know my situation. I'm the firstborn of my family, you know? At least let me, let me get one of my siblings out of school then. I feel comfortable enough to marry. What is wrong with you getting married? Why are your st siblings are still in school? Look, I, I don't want to bite more than I can chew. Okay? Please, just give me some time, okay? Maybe one more year, okay? Come on, don't let pressure from your parents divide us. I mean, we've been together for so long. It's... Please, I'm begging you, please. It's one more year with her. What's up? 
to. I'm alright. Oh wait. But what are you still doing about this time of the night? There was an assignment I had to finish. I just finished it now. Oh Eric man, I, I just can't wait to graduate man. I can't wait. Patience, alright. Patience is all you need. Before you know it, you'll be like big bro. You know what I mean? So, so how was the day with Linda? So so. Come on, feed me with all the juicy details. How are you guys getting along? It's difficult, Desmond. It's really difficult. How? The, the chemistry is no longer there. The feelings, the emotions we all both had, they're just dead. We can practically struggling to whip them all up again. That's really bad, I'm afraid. It's like really bad. I think what you guys need is a little time to stay together again. I'm sure it will come back. If it was there in the past, then it can be rekindled. You think so? I believe so. Right now, Desmond, I, I don't even know what to think anymore. Everything come is... on, bro. Don't sweat it. I'm, I'm sure it will come back. If you say so. For now, I've had enough of you booking your nose in my affairs. Okay, uh, out. Uh, out, out, out. I want to sleep. <laughs> All right, then. Good night. Have a good night. Have a great night, okay? See you in the morning. All right, bye. Bye. my girl of course 
Well, I wanted to surprise him. Oh, Miss Elena, I've been thinking about our last discussion, and um, you know, I've realized that there's really no point in waiting. You know, I want to marry you. I thought you said you were not ready yet. Well, I'm ready now. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. I love you. I love you. I'm sure that you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to marry you. I, I know it's, it's going to be tough for me, but God is on our side. Look, I... I don't, I don't want to lose you. Okay? I want to marry you. Look, Peter. Why don't you go home and, you know, think about this whole thing over and over again, seriously? You have not given me an answer to my proposal. I want to marry you. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I, everything is just happening too much, you know? I just, give me a little time. Please, I like you. It's okay. Look, I... I brought you a ring. You know, why don't you keep the ring? I will accept it if I, if I decide to marry you. Are you rejecting my proposal? Of course not. I'm not. All I'm saying is give me a little time here, that's all. It's a time, but what are you saying? I mean, was you who said your parents were putting pressure on you to get married? I said, I love you, I'm not to marry you. Is that just a story to get me off the scene? Yes, because I've heard about your ex coming back with his British education and all that money to woo you. Can you please don't create a scene here? Oh, a scene? I haven't even I haven't started yet. You better call him because I want the whole world to hear. What is wrong with you? I want to marry you. I love you. Well, you, you how can you be this scarlet after professing so much love to me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Give me a little time, Peter. How much time do you want? Peter, please, I said I want to marry you. How much time do you need? Just, just listen to me. It is you who's putting me under all this pressure, please. Peter, please, you can't do this to me, Lisa, please. Peter, please, please. Lisa, please, do this. Peter, please, don't do this to me. Take your ring. I don't want you to be all the same. Get the same with them because I don't have money and he does. Is that it? Because I'm not from the same background like you? Is that a problem? It's okay. It's okay, but I'm going to marry you. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, what do they say is a disease? You mean Peter just realized that he's ready to marry you? Oh, my dear. It's so unfair, Sandra. I mean, Peter doesn't deserve this. We had something special going on. And our relationship doesn't deserve to end like this. I want Peter to be happy. Really? Yeah. Why not say it the other way? If it ends happily with, or between you and Peter, Definitely it's going to end unhappily between you and Eric. Your whole family will be hurt. So why not let it be Peter that is hurt? So mean. See you right away. I'm at Coco's bar. So, the Coco bar. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Okay. 
I'll be waiting. He says I should meet him up at the Cocoa Bar. You dare not. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you know Peter might hurt you? You just need to be very, very careful at this point in time. I have to see him, Sandra. I don't want us to part as enemies. My conscience will not be clear if Peter is not happy with me. Do you realize you're engaged to Eric? Do you? I mean, it would be more scandalous if Eric gets to find out you're having a date with your ex. It is not a date, Sandra. It is just an appointment. And besides, I'm not married to Eric yet. I've only said yes to his proposal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just do as you like. But don't say I didn't warn you. Just be careful. I'll, I'll see you later. of pressure from my family. I'm sorry, Peter. I can't imagine my life without you. I wish I could change the situation, honestly. Do you love him? I told you, Peter, it's out of my hands. Our parents are... Please, please, Lydia, don't marry him, please. No, tell him about me. Tell him about us. I, I, I want to marry him. It's Peter. I've accepted the authority of my parents. The wedding is built for next time.
It's all right. Since we're here, you might as well stay. Tomorrow's another day. All right. So have a great night. Bye. <laughs>
doctor, please, he's dying. Help him, please. See, this song means a lot to God. Please just save him, please. I beg you in the name of God, please. please. What you're asking for is impossible. The Lord does not permit me to treat a patient with bullet wounds until I get a police clearance. I will, I will defend any harassment. Please, just help this man. This thing is so easy. I can't help you. Doctor, please, you can't. Please, I beg you to give me the Lord. Don't do this. You can save him now, please. See, if it was your brother, what would, would you wait for a clearance before you attend to him? Please. I beg you in God's name, please, if anything happens to this man, you will have God to have to. Just have to ask please, I beg you. Just, just help him. We can talk about every other thing. It's all right, it's all right. I will treat him. Take him to the table. Fernandez, at this time, calling at this time. Hope nothing is wrong. Can't find him. I thought he dropped you this night. Yourself up, come on. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure there definitely is an explanation for this. Don't beat yourself, you keep crying yourself silly. Come on. Come on. So much blood, so much that if you don't find replacement in the next 15 minutes, it's going to be a ghost. I don't know. We, we just have to find some for him. We just have to find Doctor, can I do it? Yes. Um, but that is if you share some blood. Because two pints of blood is quite a sum, and you need to eat properly after. Doctor, no problem. I can go through it. Yes. I'll conduct the Um, 
there's no cause for alarm. He's responding to treatment. God. Oh God. I found a wallet containing um, some addresses and uh, notes, and I think it might be of help. So why don't you sit down and wait for me while I try out some of the numbers in my office? That I ordered. Eh? Who, who, who chopped this part? Banga, criminal. You want to steal my wife and steal my fish? I know you are related to that man. Idiot. Just tell him, look, let me tell you, if you steal from me, you will not succeed. Let me tell you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see that man, he snatched my wife. Because he has money. And I don't have money. The people who have money, they have come up, shut it, shut it. And I slap building there, I wish I was there. Just now you want to steal my fish again. And I have no wife, no fish. What will I do? Stupid people. Mr. Man? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You see what he's doing to my fish? After they took my wife. Huh? That the people who took me out there. Build him! Shut him! You, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Uh, it's not me that stole my wife. Anything you say could be used against you in the court of law. Look, I, I will show you the man that took my wife. The man who took my 
now I will show you. What, what is this? What? Look, it, it's not me that did it. Why? When you get to the station, you No, no, you don't understand what I'm saying. Look, somebody took my wife, okay? And some people took it. I was not there. Yeah, this is, I just came to hit me. You don't know what I'm saying to you. Hey, look, I like to tell you something. extracted uh, the bullet successfully. His condition is still unstable, but he's out of the danger list. In the meantime, we've placed him on uh, a very strict uh, medication until he regains uh, consciousness. What? Damn it! Uh, Eric! Eric! What actually happened? Chief, I have no idea. A young lady rushed him in here and pleaded with us to attend to him. What are we doing now? Mm. What do we do now? Why don't we go to my office and uh, uh, discuss? when the wave came. But why are you so afraid? Where is your faith? I believe that our daughter is in safe hands. Amen. That the Lord will service with her wherever she is. Amen. Yes. Even though she walks through the valley of the shadow of death, nothing, no evil will befell our daughter. Amen. I believe that. Father, I thank you for this family, Jesus. I thank you for today. I thank you for the life of my wife, Sarah. I thank you for the life of my daughter, Adora. Father, I give you praise. I thank you for the guidance and protection and everything you have done for this family. Because, Father, you said in the book of Matthew 21, verse 21 and 22, that we should have faith and doubt not, and that whatever we ask in prayers and we believe in it shall be granted to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, our daughter is safe. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'll be leaving now uh, because I'm late. I'm late for the council. Adora! God! Where have you been? Adora! What happened to you? I'm fine. Thank you, Jesus. Get, get thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You are well in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you Jesus. Lord, I thank you for doing this for this family again. Amen. Father, I know that those who believe in you shall never be disappointed. Amen. God, I thank you for bringing my daughter back in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is well. Whatever the trial, the most important thing now is that the devil has been defeated. The plan of the devil has been shattered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm off now for the uh, counseling. So whatever it is, when I come back, you will now uh, tell me all that happened. I will do. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. You're blessed. Okay. Oh. What happened? I tried 
not to, but I couldn't help it. I will tell you everything. You won't believe all that I have to say. Chief, your son would have been history. But for this lady, thank God for her. I have never seen such a good Samaritan. And where is this lady now? Um, she went home to freshen up. She was exhausted. I want your transfer. Transfer? Yes. this. What I did, I didn't do for money, but I did for God. I know. I understand. It's just a token of his appreciation. You see, what you did, not everybody could, could have done that. So just take it as it is. No, my as dear. Doctor, please, just do me this favor. I'll be glad. Um, find me and send it back to them. I can't accept it. You mean you want me to return this 50,000 naira to them? Yes, please. Don't accept it. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I should take my leave now. It's all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye. Bye. I didn't know such people still existed in this country. will not change things, please. All right, my dear. Jubilating and you were uh, 
happy. When I was drunk, for Christ's sake, I was tipsy. Okay, in that state, I could have said anything. Okay, maybe I wished him some bad thing to happen to him, but look, all I, all I care about is, is your happiness. Okay, if you're happy with your choice, so be it. I will never plan any evil against you. It's, it's okay, Peter. It's okay. Okay, all right. It's all right. I, I believe you. I'll try my best to make sure you're not persecuted for what she did not do. But I'm in a tight corner. I'm not supposed to be speaking to someone who's suspected of having killed my husband to be. I, I'm not, I know, okay, I know. I'll try my best. I, I still do care. So I'll, I'll try my best, okay? Thank you. Yes, well. Thank you for believing me. It's okay. <laughs> Such things only happen in the movies. I mean, first, she drove him to the hospital. Then she deposited money. And most of all, she donated her own blood. Even declined a reward. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, this man. Amazing. She's not ordinary. She must have been an angel sent from above. I share your views, Mom. Because honestly, I never thought such people still existed on Earth. You know? I'm baffled. Why hasn't she bothered to at least show up? Maybe she didn't know which hospital we were. Dad should have at least left a message. Well, he was going to. But at the time, he wasn't sure whether to have him treated here or flown abroad. And by the time he took a decision, she had come and gone.
was admitted here some time ago. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember you now. How are you doing? Fine, doctor. Please sit down. Thank you. Sit down, please. <laughs> thank God, the wounds are healing. Oh, we thank God for that. So, what can I do for you now? I was told about the good Samaritan that rescued me. Oh, the young lady that brought you here. Such an amazing lady, if, if, if I ever saw one. You owe your, your life to her. Yes, I know, Doctor. Yes, I do know. But please, I mean, how can I find her? Unfortunately, she did not leave any address. I don't know where she stays. Even the money your father gave me to give to her, she refused to accept it, saying that she did what she did, not for money, but for God. Honestly, she is something else. She didn't leave an address. Uh, what about her name then, Doctor? Did she drop a name? She did tell me her name, but unfortunately, I forgot. I'm sorry. How does she look like? I mean, is there anything I can use to identify her? She is a... Um, Dark in complexion, of average height, and very, very pretty. There is something about her nature. She has, she has this charming nature. I, I, I couldn't help but grant her her wish. Doctor, please, if you ever lay eyes on her again, tell her that I want, tell her that I need to see her, please. to drive me around the bend with your cousin worrying and heckling. Please, stop. We have to worry, bro. You are the shining light of this family. And we can't afford to let anything happen to you. So, where did you go? <laughs> I can see that you're determined to make yourself a pain in the neck this afternoon. Well, if you must know, I went to the hospital. I wanted to see if I could discover the identity of the woman whose blood flows in my veins. I just can't stop thinking about her. So, did you find her? Nope. It seems she left absolutely no clue as to where, I mean, who she is. Then let it rest. She probably does not want to be found or something. Or maybe she's actually an angel. So quit. Because angels are not very easy to find. But this is one angel that I must find, or else I have no peace. Look, I just, just to say thank you, so she won't accept our money. I'm sorry, bro. You know I'm your brother, right? And I'll always tell you the truth. This is beginning to sound like an obsession. You just don't get it, Desmond. You don't. Look, you don't know what it means to be saved at the verge of death. Never do you realize what it means for someone, a, a total stranger, to give their blood so that you may live. Pints upon pints upon pints of blood. Look, Desmond, I must find I will search for or else I have no peace. And if you find her, what will you do? Over a month since this thing happened, and you're still obsessed with the idea of finding this girl. But have you for once thought that maybe she doesn't want to be found? Do you realize that this is putting a strain on our relationship? Look, I'm very sorry, Linda. I did not mean to upset you, 
But right now, I just need some time alone so I can think things over. There's so much going around in my head. All right. I just want to go for a walk. Yeah, right. Listen, you can walk into the river and mind up all I care. I mean, that is what you seem to do these days. Quite frankly, Eric, I am getting sick and tired of it all. You know what? When you're done with the solitude, give me a call. That strikes me like someone I know. Uh, honestly, I get that a lot, you know, but I'm so sure I've, 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 we've not met before. Are you sure? Are you fine, no? No I don't know. I, I just feel strongly like, like I know you. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I've seen you before. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry to bother you. I have to get back to the house. Not to keep so. Are you married? Um, I really have to get back to them. They must be bored by now. Uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm Eric. Oh, sorry. Adora. Nice to meet you. Um, no, I was just wondering if you would honor an invitation if, if one is extended to you. An invitation for what? Um, my survival party. Survival? You take your kids and come to my survival party. Survival for what? An armed droppy attack. My family, Sam, tried to adjust with me. I survived an armed robbery attack. Um, yeah, don't worry, I'll be there. I really appreciate it. Bye. Thank you. Boy, I really want to watch you move. And I really want to dance with you. Boy, I want to feel you turn me on. And I really want to scream. Cause tonight is the night. I want to party with you. Baby, now is the time. Let's go and freak out with me. Boy, I really want to watch you move. And I really want to dance with you. Boy, I want to feel you turn me on. And I really want to scream. Cause tonight is the night. I want to party with you. Baby, now is the time. Let's go and freak out with me. I've been watching you for so long now Every crazy thought has crossed my mind Make me move Makes me shake Make me shake Makes me move Shivers straight down my spine Goosebumps decorate my skin Everything in my imagination Could become a great celebration Baby, I can wait for longer If I do, may take forever More I really wanna watch you move Tonight is the night Let's wanna party with you Baby, now is the time We can go with me Boy, I really wanna watch you I do And I really wanna dance 
So close, boy, feeling your sexy body makes the me Oh, makes me shake, shake, makes me shake, and makes me shake, and makes me It was a great speech, my dear. I was moved to tears. From a frail young man lying helpless in the cold of the night, bleeding severely and dying, to an energetic young man standing firm on his feet before a large crowd, strong and alive. What can be greater joy for a rescuer over her rescued than watching you speak with so much passion? Thank you so much for that honor. 
My thoughts are also with you, Adora.
Ever since I met you I have feelings that I've never had before Savior, let me love you now and for I thought I'd never see you again Well, how did you know I was going to be here? I searched everywhere for you Everywhere But then, since this is where we met I thought that one day You might return here, that's why I came Why did you vanish after rescuing me? I didn't vanish. I came, but you were gone. They had taken me somewhere unknown, so there was nothing else I could do. Oh, yes. There were so many things you could do if you had wanted to. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, but I'm sorry. I just didn't realize that. Can I ask you this? What did you do all of the Um, I... I don't know. I can't say exactly why, but for God, I suppose. I'm sure that's why. Then you must be a great Christian. It depends on what you mean by a great Christian. God is a judge of us all. I just do the things he directs me to do. Adora, you've captured my heart. But from the very first moment I took your blood in, my whole life got transformed. Look, so much that I got obsessed with the notion of finding you. I was so much in my head I thought I was going to die if I couldn't find you. Thank you so much. It's Thank okay. you so much for saving my life. It's okay. so clear in my mind. Anytime I try to put them into words, they, 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 they just, they just jumble up. Just say it anyhow, okay? See, I know what I'm going to say will sound strange to you, considering the fact that I barely know you and all. But, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm in love with you. <laughs> I didn't want it to either. 
but fate must take its course. My father is a pastor. Your parents are a different breed. We're very far apart. I do not care. I don't care. Look, we are one spirit, one soul, and we love each other. That's all that matters to me. This is not going to be easy at all. Trust me, I know, Adora. I know. But together, together we can bring this against all odds. And as such, my sheep must follow my path. And in this case, my own offspring. I do, sir. I totally understand. You see. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Sir. I love Adora with all of my heart. And I'm willing to make sacrifices for this love. See, if all I have to do to be with her forever and ever is just to change from my denomination to yours, then so be it. Look, I'm even prepared to do so much more. I knew she was the one for me from the very first moment I laid my eyes on her. Um, are you sure you understand what you're saying? Yes, sir. With full confidence, I do. Look, she has touched my life in a special way. And as such, I'm willing to follow her path wherever you may lead me. Prayers, prayers, my son. That's all we need in this type of situation. And His will must surely be done in our lives. You see, the Bible said, Thy will be done, which means that God has a perfect purpose that will be accomplished in our lives. What did you just say? Dad, I'm convinced from the bottom of my heart that I want to marry her. What? <laughs> you must be mad. I expected you to say something like that, Dan. But the truth is, I've never been clearer in my reasoning. See, I know that she's the one who was designed for me. I'm very sure about that. You can't be serious. You have nothing in common. This is only a denominational difference, Mum. That does not count for me at all. But love does. What do you know about love? Yes. Just because she saved you. Far from me, Mom. Far from it. Look, we're discussing fate here. Destiny has brought us together. Fate has united us. God. This is unbelievable. Now, do you realize that you're supposed to be making plans for your wedding with Linda? Do you realize that? Linda is not my wife. I guess I always knew this, but this had to happen. I am now convinced that you've gone totally insane. Listen, in approximately two weeks from now, you are getting married to no other person than Linda Benson. A date has been fixed. And I don't want to hear any more of this hogwash. Be serious, Eric. You must be joking. I've never been more serious about any other thing in my whole life. I must marry that girl. You don't know a damn thing about that girl. I, I need to go against that wish. You know that. <sighs> Sit down, Asman. Sit down. Sit. 
Sí. Sí. I'm here talking to you alive and well because of that girl. Look, everybody's life has a turning point. My own turning point came when that girl gave her blood so that I may live. Do you understand? Look, my mind is totally made up and there's no stopping me. I must marry her. Alright? Nothing is going to stop me at all. Not even parental authority will be a barrier. So, we are brothers. Understand me and support me for me. or something else I don't know but not love because if it was love nothing else would have made me look at another woman Eric Eric please you can't do this to me I won't survive it please Eric Linda I'm so sorry but trust me you will survive it and you'll move in to find your own true love someone who's going to love you so much more than I ever could Eric, you can't leave me. Exactly. Eric, please don't do this. Please don't make this with each other. I don't have time to explain. Don't wanna listen to you complain. I tell you, like I said before, I don't love you. Myself the truth There's no future for me and you My mind is made up and I'm sure I don't love you anymore No use in crying You don't move me you can't change me Get out the door I don't love you anymore You must be a Dora, right? Yes, I am I'm, I'm sorry, I I know that face, but I, I can't remember where I've seen the face. My name is Linda Benson. Oh, well, I'm Adora, Adora Okoro. I know that already. I saw you at Eric's party. Oh. Well, how may I help? Well, <clears throat> I've been crying for the past two days, Adora. That's why I've come here to see you. I came here to talk about Eric. You see, Adora, I've not come here to fight you. No. I've only come here to tell you how much I love Eric. And that our marriage has been planned since we were kids. Just that I'm so scared and I love Eric so much and you know I don't know what's It's what okay. To... It's okay. But let's look at this thing objectively. You don't know me, I don't know you. 
I didn't even know Eric until that fateful day. So there was no intention on my part against you. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. No, not at all. All I'm saying is, Adora, help me. Help me, please. Leave Eric for me. Tell him, tell him you're not interested. Why? Because you want to help me. My helping you will only make Eric unhappy. And if Eric is unhappy, there's no way he will return to you. Linda, do you really love Eric? I'm not talking about love. Marriage is more important than love. I mean, our marriage has been announced on the TV, the, the radio, the, the newspapers, the magazines. Adora, I'll be humiliated if that marriage fails. Please, help me. That's all I'm asking for. I sympathize with you. But life must go on. My sister, go home. Pray about this matter. If Eric is meant to be yours, nobody can take him away from you. But if he's not, no amount of tears can bring him back. to her. That was a very stupid move. What did you hope to achieve by that? Eric, I love you very much. You don't expect me to give up just like but that. I, look, I do not love you anymore, okay? I don't want you. Can't you just understand that? Linda, you're only trying to make things harder for both of us and I don't want that at all. I'm sorry for proposing to you in the first place, but you know that my parents forced me to. Look, we will make a very miserable couple, I can assure you of that. Linda, I don't want you anymore, I do not love you anymore. I know it's really difficult, but please do understand. You can't change me, get out the door. I don't love you anymore. Precious father, I curse every pain on this body. I curse every affliction. Amen. I curse the wickedness in the dark places to depart from this body this moment. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Depart, depart. It is well. Lord, pour your blood into the veins of this blood. Amen. Let it become new now. Lord, it is well. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is well. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I feel relieved now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yeah. you. The Lord is great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. It's all right. So at any time you come, we, you know, okay, please so I pray for you. I'll be coming. The Lord will see you through. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Good. Hello, Pastor Chris Okoro. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, please be seated. Thank you. Yes. Are you here for counseling? No. I have come to see you personally. I see. I am Chief Lloyd Fernandez. Fernandez, Fernandez. Oh, oh, Eric's father? Exactly. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You seem to be doing a very good job. There's quite a crowd out there to see you. <laughs> to the glory of God. However, Pastor, don't you think that your own daughter needs more of the counseling than any other person out there? Uh, sir, I, I don't seem to understand. 
Don't pretend not to understand, Pastor Chris. You are a man of God with a high esteem in the Pentecostal field. I am a dedicated Roman Catholic with a high esteem in the society. A propagator of the doctrine of the Holy Church. An ardent follower of His Holiness the Pope. Now, I don't see us exactly as suitable in-laws, do you? Um, if this is in respect of your son's desire to marry my daughter, ah, no, then... No, 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 no. Your daughter's desire to destroy my son instead. What she did was to save life. And if for nothing, you should thank God and be grateful for that. I should be grateful if it was just a matter of saving a life. But there is more to it now. I am beginning to wonder whether that accident was a mere coincidence or a calculated attempt to steal a young man's heart. Sir, In what? this jet age, Pastor, anything is possible. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever. But just remember that the Bible said, Judge not, so that you shall not be judged. I love my daughter, and I care for her feelings. Her relationship with her son has given me a great concern. But I'm a man of God. I leave everything in the hands of God, in whose hands everything worketh for good. Let us allow his will to be done in their lives. Pastor, it is not now a matter of religion. Do you support your daughter destroying another girl's marriage? Linda was about to get married in the next one month or so, until your daughter's intrusion put a clog in the wheel of progress. I don't see that way, sir. Pastor, where is your conscience? Where is your conscience? How would you feel if your daughter's marriage hit the rocks two weeks before the wedding day? How would you feel? Uh, sir, like I said, let's leave this matter in the hands of God. We are family of great faith. If my daughter marries her son, I believe it's a total will of God. And that marriage will never hit the rock because it's built on solid foundation. And you and I know that whatever that is built on solid foundation can never crack. Is that not so, sir? Pastor, I would like to make you an offer. And your daughter, too. What offer? I saw you recently on television begging for money for a, the project of a new church building. You were asking for 20 million naira. I am prepared to offer you 5 million naira so long as your daughter Stop, sir, inordinate ambition to lure my son into marriage. Uh, well, sir, it's a tempting offer, but I am not the money monger type, neither is my daughter. And let us uh, remember what the Bible said. It's not how precious a gift or how fat a gift that matters, but the heart, the heart with which it's given. I'm comfortable. We're just contented with whatever blessings God has given to us. I don't think I'll compromise my daughter's happiness or anything. That's a very brave statement. But I think you should take uh, your um, Sir, I'm sorry I can no longer attend to you. I have my flocks waiting outside. I'm here for counseling. Uh, maybe some other time, sir. Stay blessed.
Pastor Chris, I made you an offer of five million naira, which you turned down. I am raising it to ten million naira, plus five for your daughter, and indeed another five million for your wife. A total of twenty million naira. The money you're asking for your new church project. Twenty million naira. So long as your daughter keeps her hands off my son. Twenty million naira. Think about it. Think about it. And I expect you to call me soon to give me your affirmative answer. That was the absolutely most degrading step he ever took, Dad. You're so ashamed. How could you have done a thing like that? It was a simple and harmless proposal. You will settle for that. You have no choice. Poverty is a great disease. And believe me, these people are hungry. They'll take the money. I'm confident of that. Listen to me, Dad. Like, if there's something in life you can't change, it's destiny. And you cannot, with all of your money, buy true love. That is exactly what I feel for this girl, and that's what she feels for me too. So why don't you say this embarrassment and see reasons with me? I'm sure I don't know about this. The introduction ceremony at the Pensons has been moved to the 14th of next month. What? That's just over two weeks from now. I've had to move it closer because of all these distractions. I don't need them one bit. Neither do you. supposed to be at the introduction ceremony between you and Linda and the Bess's family. You did not show up. You went to see that girl. You kept everybody waiting. You went to see that girl against my wish. I'm sorry, Dad. I couldn't help it. You couldn't help it. Dad. Dad. 
You've always done what you wanted. Always. I've never disappointed you before. I spent years and years in London studying business administration so I could come back to Nigeria and take over your business empire against my own career goal of becoming a broadcaster. But I never flinched for a second. I didn't complain. I did it all for you. Dad, you've always bent my wheel. Can't you just let me follow my heart for once? Eric, your father wants the best. Maybe his best is not good enough for me, Mom. But aren't you forgetting something here? Our association and the relationship we share with the Bensons. Don't you think that will be ruined forever if you disappoint their daughter? Look, Mom. Every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. You have always told me that. What's the big deal in getting married to me anyway? Who knows, tomorrow she could find a better suitor. But one thing I know for sure is the worst thing she could ever do is get married to me. Tomorrow she could find a better suitor if she survives the heartache and heart attack you're giving her right now. Dad. Do you remember some years ago when you lost all of your money in a distress bank? That year, you threatened to kill both yourself and the bank manager. But you survived it. And even later, you confessed to all of us that that incident in your life made you know whom your real friends were. Trust me, Dad, she will survive it. Every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. Yes, son. And it was Chief Benson who came to my rescue that time. Now, is this the way to repay a favor? Mom, I love Adora. I love Adora like I've never loved any other woman in my whole life. She touches a soft spot inside of me. Look, Mom, I love her. I cherish her. I totally want to spend the rest of my life with her. Dad, Mom, you too, Desmond. I need you to understand me. I can't do it all alone. I need you to be in on this with me, please. Please understand me. Please. <laughs>
shame. Uh, we are still waiting for the doctor. Doctor! Doctor! Please. So, this is a difficult situation. How is she? Oh, she's still in coma. She lost a lot of blood. She may be needing transfusion. Doctor, please take it. every drop of my blood if that's what she needs to survive. Please take it. Oh, that will be okay. We'll do our best. Oh, Father, you're in control. Jesus is in control. So, how much blood do you need? One pint. Uh, a pint and a half will be okay. It's okay. I will donate mine. That's okay, by the way. Come with me. It's all right, my dear. Just pray. Just pray. I'll be back. Please come and sit down. We'll be, she'll be all right. She'll be okay.
Listen to me, please. I know how you feel. I know about the pain and the hurt. But breathing and crying will not change the situation. What has happened has happened. All we need to do is pray that yourself for the everything will be all right I promise Just don't. That boy is hurting upstairs. And if we don't do anything about it, only God knows what Eric might do. I said, I said, Eric, 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 where are you going? I'm leaving. There's absolutely no way I'm going to live in the same house with you people. No, Eric, you can't. We love you. Besides, we haven't done anything wrong. All I wanted was to see you happy. Mordura. Cold-blooded Mordura, that's what you are. I don't ever want to have anything to do with you again in my whole life. Never! Stop it, please. Why do you say such cruel things about your father? We haven't done anything wrong. Please, we need you. I do not want your love, okay? Not anymore. I just want to be by myself. All alone. Come on, Let's bro. Go. Sleep alone. You just can't live like that. Oh, come back here, please. Left away. I don't know. He he just said he was never gonna come back to this house again. What is that supposed to mean?
tell myself the truth. Mm -hmm. What is it again? Eh? What is this? Eric is good. Go nowhere. What do you do? Just got up and left. I promise you, I don't you will come back. You will come back. It's not coming back again, Mom. He's gone. No, come on. Don't no, worry. No, 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 Finda, you are still here thinking, crying. Yeah, it's been two weeks now, two weeks. You have stopped doing everything. We are just sitting down here crying. What's, what is the problem? Can't you just forget Eric for once? Yeah, what is this obsession? What's going on? Huh? What? It's not about Eric, Mom. Who is it then? Oh, mommy, I have so much burden on my mind. It's killing me. It's killing me. Talk to me. Talk to me, Linda. I'm your mom. I have a confession to make. Okay. I mean, yeah. It was a mistake, mom. I, I, didn't, I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't know what happened. Okay. It was a mistake. Okay. I mean, it was a mistake. Okay. The introduction. Yes. Which Eric failed to show up for. Alright. I was her mom. Don't worry. Hope you okay. I was you broken. Okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. And so, and so, so, I, 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 I went to Sandra. I had enough and it bitter, honestly. I'm hurting so much inside. I'm hurting so much. God. I'm half as much as hurting like you. Okay? I know I saw you and Eric growing up in the same neighborhood. So I can imagine what you're going through. Everything is gone. Everything has changed. Sarah. Gone with the wind. Neither can it happen to Sandra's friend. It's worth fighting for. You have to fight. What do you mean? Crying can solve your problem. Let me solve them. You believe the balance is complete. Everything is intact. Madam, you want this lady killed, alright? I don't know. Just anything to keep her away from him. That's all I want. You got no problem. Consider it done. This is our profession. 
Just go home and relax. I'm gonna give you a clean job, okay? She got the on you guys. She got no problem, madam. Okay? Just go home and relax, huh? Guy, bro, cash. Take care, lady. Please forgive her, Chief. She did this out of her love for Eric. Have mercy. Really apologize. Please. I am short of words. All I can say is she should go to the family of the deceased and make this confession. It is their forgiveness that she needs. Yes, the Lord I serve has taken absolute control. Is there in the Bible, the book of Matthew 6, 14 and 15? For if you forgive men for their trespasses, our heavenly Father will forgive you their trespasses. But if you do not forgive men for their trespasses, my Lord will not forgive you. And faithfully enough, Jesus has See the new manager. Mm? Really? He invited me for a meeting. Oh, that's great. So, are we eating out tonight? No. Why? I thought we are going to remain in court speakers. You know, until Linda is finally out of the way. We can't wait. Mm? Let's show the world how much we love each other. I know, but we have to do the right thing. Okay? Don't worry. I got a big surprise for you when I come back. Really? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save me and 
life alone? Look, I just want to be alone. Eric, hear me out first, I please. I do not want to hear anything, okay? I do not want to hear anything, so please get out right now. I planned the killing of Adora. I sent the assassins that You what? Eric, I'm sorry. Leave me now. Jesus. I said, leave right now. Sorry, sir. I heard your voice from the lobby. Is anything going wrong here? Manager, please, I need this woman out of here right now. Madam, please leave. You can see that he is not in the right mood now. Please leave. Eric, please. Shh. Just hear me out. Eric. Leave. Leave. Excuse me, madam. I beg your pardon. You can see that he is not in his right mood. You can come back later. Please, let's go. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. I don't have time to explain. someone had told me you were not going to be my wife, I would never have believed her. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. It's all right. At least you helped me get out of the police net by proving my innocence. That was the least I could do for you. Oh. Okay then. Take care of yourself. Oh, happy birthday. 
You won't believe I, I forgot completely. Today is my birthday. Thanks for reminding me. I guess it's time for sober reflection. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself, man. It was nice seeing you again. So, yeah. Coming impatient. Well, shall we? Or do you want to change? Um, actually, I don't think I want to go out today. Come on, darling. What about what we planned? Look, you say I forgot that today is my birthday. Oops, your birthday! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you see, you. the more reason why we should go out. Come on. Oh, Sandra, you don't understand. Look, you see, um. As a matter of principle, you know, I normally don't go out on my birthday. You know, I just stay home, try and do some sober reflection and, you know, well, look at my life. What kind of principle? And what are you reflecting on? Try, come on, life in general, you know, what direction my life is taking, look to see if I'm on the right track. If not, what can I do to get back on track? Honey, you are on the right track. I mean, after what that wicked Linda did to you, trying to derail your life, you now have a sweetheart, a purposeful woman by your side. And the only thing you can do to put that life on the right track is to just march her onto the altar and every other thing will fall in place. Sandra, after everything that I've been through, you know, marriage is the last thing on my mind now. Peter. If marriage is the last thing on your mind, so what is the surprise you told me you have for me? Look, Sandra, we don't have to argue about this, okay? Look, today is a special day for me. Today is my birthday. Let's talk about it tomorrow. For now, let me just transfer myself out, you know, think about my life. so easily. Well, this is what happened. I was going after Eric and then I, I bumped into Peter, you know. When I saw Peter again, I, my heart lurched, you know, and I realized that my feelings for him never changed. <laughs> Come off it, get it. Just forget it. What is wrong with you? Are you alright? I mean, today is Peter, tomorrow is Eric. Oh, oh. Is it because Eric is no longer interested and you're looking for someone to like push no, it out? No, come on, Sandra, no, far from it. Listen. The few minutes I spent with Peter, I completely forgot everything about Eric. Mm. Don't you get it? <laughs> and you know what? what? I've decided not to look for Eric again. That's it. You can't be serious, Linda. I'm serious. No, you are not serious. What's wrong with you? After all we've been through just to secure your position? Oh. Sandra, even if Eric 
comes crawling and pleading that he wants to marry me. I am not going to marry him because it's, it's, the marriage is not meant to be. Can't you see? Hmm. There's nothing there. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. I'm still thinking. I, I know I hurt Peter so much. But... I wish I could have him back. You and I know it's not possible. I mean, you can just wake up one morning from the blues after toiling around with his emotion. You think he'll just come back and marry you? Oh. Besides that, my girl, I heard Peter is engaged to some girl like that. Yes. What? He's engaged? Sandra, I'm finished. I'll never marry again. Hey, don't say that, Linda. <laughs> it has not got into that, okay? There are many fishes in the ocean. This is not enough for you to take such a drastic decision about your life. Hmm? Okay? You know what? Hmm? I've decided on something. And I mean every bit of what I'm about to tell you. I am going to find out if Peter is truly engaged. If for some reason he's not and he still wants me. I'll be the happiest woman on earth. And, you know, my family and his family have decided not to take their daughter's case to the police. You know, I need to get my life back on track. And I need you to help me. Yes, please. I need you to help me, Sandra, please. Sandra, please. Linda today, damn, that girl has a low opinion of you. What do you mean she has a low opinion of me? I mean, I saw Linda too and when I spoke with her, she didn't sound like she had any problem. Of course she would not. I mean, she can never be nasty as far as you're there. My dear, just forget about it. She hates your court. Huh. <sighs> Did you tell her about us? No. You know, I think I, I want to see her again. You know, I think I should be around her, comfort her, console her. Really? <laughs> Peter, all you are telling me now is that I'm nothing but a part-time lover to you? After all Linda has done to you, you still want to go back to her to comfort her? A comforter in time of sorrows, and when your sorrows are over, you discard me at your own free will? Despite all that Linda did to you, I've been there for you! And now you want to go console Linda, you want to be with her, you want to do everything with her. You know what? You amaze me. You, you are the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You're so dumb! God! You want to comfort her? You mean, you mean Peter told you all these things? Of course he did. He said you deserve everything that has happened to you. That in short, this is the right time for him to come and exact his revenge. Revenge? Yes. He said that if you're still hurting for him, he will come back and restart the affair. But he won't let you know he's having another girl. That when you think all is rosy and sweet, he will pull the rug off your feet. What? What? Has Peter become so mean? God. Do you know what, Sandra? I have to find a way to stop loving him then go through another heartache. Mm. I won't survive it, honestly. It I ain't. See him. 
But don't let him know you have your own agenda. Peter must fail. There's, there's no point. There's no point seeing him. It's, I can't. I can't listen to me, Kelly. It has not gotten to that. See him. Defeat him. You know what? I will see him and let you know. But for the meantime, just see him. Ask him where he stays because he said he won't let you know where he's living. That if you ask him, he will tell you that he's squatting in my own flat for the meantime. Yes. So, girl, I, Sandra, will not stay and watch any other man trample with your heart again. sick and um, you did not mention it the last time I saw you. Where exactly do you leave, Peter? Well, you know, after after the arrest, my landlord kicked me out. So I went to Sandra's place and she, she gave me a room you know, in her house. So you can say I'm squatting with Sandra. Well, like as I was saying, I, I heard about your setback, you know, and, uh, what's wrong? Are you okay? How can you be so mean to me, Peter? How can you do such a thing to me, Peter? What are you talking about? I know exactly what you came here to do to me. What are you saying? I don't... You heard what? Who, who are you talking to? Stop pretending, okay? Sandra told me everything. It's okay. Sandra. Do you go to her and tell her bad things that I did not say about her? And then you come and tell me bad things she did not say about me. What's your point? I don't know what you're talking about, Peter. Really? Did you not tell me that Linda said I wanted to marry her because of her father's money? I can't believe this. I can't believe you believe all the rubbish that Linda has been feeding you with. After all we've been through, can't you just see what Linda is trying to do to us? It's more like what are you trying to do? You forced me into this relationship. What were you trying to do? 
You knew at the point I was still very much in love with Linda, but then you took advantage of our misunderstanding to try and destroy us. Enough, Peter! Enough! Damn! Look! Listen to yourself! I'm so ashamed of you. Who took care of your broke ass? Me. When that bitch deserted you, who was there for you? Me. When your whole world was crumbling, who was there? Me and me again. And the thank you you can say to me is to go back to your dear Linda and just discard me like that? Listen, man. I am not going to stand and watch you destroy all I've built my whole life. It's not possible. You are joking. Okay? Read my lips. You are joking. Sandra, ranting and waving will not get us anywhere. Okay? You have fooled me for so long, I'm not going to let you continue to fool me. Okay? It's over. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, it's over. And there's nothing that you can do that will stop me. Peter, it's not what you think. I'm sorry. But, but you know I love you. Linda is just trying to do this to us. I love you. And I've always been there for you. Sandra, for everything that you have done for me, I can only say, may God bless you a million times, okay? But for now, I need to go and sort my life out, okay? Peter, Peter, Peter! I don't have time to explain Don't wanna listen to you complain I tell you like I said before Yes, uh, who is there? Come in. Ah, Eric. Definitely, sir. Yeah, how are you? Oh, thank you, sir. It's been a long time. <sighs> yes, sir. Adora's death really shook me so much. I decided to take myself off somewhere where I'd be all alone by myself for some time. I feel so, so guilty and responsible for the whole issue. Oh, you don't have to do that. God knows best. If it is the will of God that both of you will marry, nothing would have stopped it, because my God is a living God. Anyway, sir, I'm going back to the UK really very soon, and I, I can't stay in face of what has happened. So I just came here to find out the arrangements for... for Adara's burial. I want to know what I can do, sir. Hmm. Um, Eric, I, I really don't want to discuss this with you. Honestly, believe me, I understand. I know it's really painful, given the circumstances, but please, I want to know if she's been buried or not. If she has, please take me to the graveside. I need to do this before I travel back. No, she has not been buried. Then, can you take me to the mortuary where our body is then, please? Eric, I'm afraid I can't do that can't do that. How do you mean you can't do that? Look, what is the harm in seeing my dead wife before she's buried? I mean, could you Eric, do this to Eric, me? Eric, Eric, please. Bear with us. It's not possible right now. Well then, I guess I have no choice but to come right here until my wish is granted. intelligent than I am. Just because your parents are super rich, then you think you can have your way around everything I ever wanted and needed. Listen to me. Not even your father's money can afford you, Peter, now. Get that into your head. You can't threaten me, Sandra. You can't. All right? What is wrong with you? Haven't you caused enough harm already? You're not even sorry for what happened to Adora and now you want to start again. What is it? What happened to Adora? You started it all in the first place. You wanted my help and I gave it to you. Oh, 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 I see. Because Eric is not even interested in you after you killed his girlfriend, Adora. I did not.
kill any bodies. Oh, you did. I did not you kill did. anybody. You did not kill anybody. You did. Sandra, I didn't kill anybody. Did. All I did was just come to you for advice. I didn't kill a girl, and you know it. You planned and suggested everything. You plotted and executed this whole evil, and now you're turning around to blame me. Do you know what? I just want to be left alone, okay? I don't want to have anything to do with you again. Left alone, my foot. Listen up. Linda, I will fight you with my last breath. If you ever come close to Peter, I will deal with you. Now I've cleaned him up, he looks sweet. Then you think you can come and have him back? Never. If I see you, you're done for. see the necessity for this venture. I think you should forget about her. Move on with your life. Don't be dragged by the past. Pastor, this is important to me. I have to make my peace with the dead. This is very important. such great emotional trauma. It was the best thing we could do, Eric. I never stopped caring about you for one moment. I lived for the day of seeing you.
Eric is here! What? Eric! Getting married today. Hallelujah. Yeah. I say that the young men here that should be a person in the name of Jesus. Yeah. For God's sake, it is not good that a man should be alone, that I will make him a helper, a helper that will be comparable to him. Did that word hit you? Comparable to him. Slow for Jesus for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, Slow for Jesus. And that therefore a man shall leave the father and the mother and be joined to the wife. And they shall become what? One flesh. They shall become one flesh. Hallelujah. They shall become one flesh. And that will be a portion of the young men and women in this church. In this church. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah. Woo! I'm happy.
my love. As you read this, I will be far gone, away from this coral world, in the bosom of the Almighty, where I will live and find solace, where life will be fair to me, where I can love and be loved in return, where my destiny will be to live with the man I love and not to watch him slip away from my hand. I love you, Peter, and even unto death, I still do love you. It is not infatuation. It is not exuberance. It is real love, and it will never die. I want you to know this. Linda does not love you. Farewell, my love. Till we meet to part no more. genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Tui, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.